Russia's top cyber diplomat has warned that a worsening conflict with the United States in cyberspace could lead to a real-world escalation between the two powers as both sides vote to strike back against any virtual provocations. Washington and Moscow have long denied conducting malicious cyber activities against one another, but United States Cyber Command Director General Paul Nakason confirmed last week in an interview with Sky News that the Pentagon Cyber Branch was involved in a series of operations across the full spectrum, including those both offensive and defensive in nature as well as information operations in support of Ukraine as it struggles to fend off a Russian incursion launched in February. Days after the senior United States military officials' comments, Russian Special President's representative for cooperation in the field of information security, Andrei Kurusik, accused the United States of having unleash cyber aggression against Russia and it is a lies in an interview Monday with the newspaper Commerzant. Reached for comment by Newsweek regarding the nature of Moscow's potential response, the Russian Foreign Minister shared a statement attributed to Kuruski in which he asserted that, rest assured, Russia will not leave any aggressive actions unanswered. Kuruski who also serves as director of Russian Foreign Ministry's Department of International Information Security, said the how and where remain to be seen, but said that all our steps will be measured and targeted in accordance with our legislation and international law. And though an absence of international cooperation has left a potentially dangerous gray zone in assessing cyber warfare, Kuruski argued that the Biden administration was in clear violation of international law when it came to Washington's backing for Kyiv. State institutions, critical and social infrastructure facilities, storage of personal data of our citizens, and foreigners living in Russia are being hit, Kuruski said. Officials in the United States and Ukraine are taking responsibility for the sabotage. It is there that they categorically refuse to develop international legal foundations. They do not seem to fully realize the danger of such aggressiveness and encouragement of gangsterism in the field of information security.